All right, let's go to Thursday college football. We got Georgia Southern and, and South Alabama. Uh, the uh, South Alabama Jaguars three point home favorites. Another Sun Belt game here. Fifty uh, being the total uh, in this game. Uh, South Alabama, of course, I like the hire of Kane Womack, who's their head coach this year. Was the Indiana defensive coordinator before that. Uh, and you see this team, you know, up up and down kind of throughout the course of the year. Uh, with the results to this point, they beat up South Southern Miss in their opener. They beat Bowling Green, didn't cover, uh, struggled to get past Alcorn State. Uh, they lose to Louise, uh, to the Rage and Cajuns, 20-18. to 18. But again, cover the number as 12-point dogs. We just mentioned that. And they outgained ULL by 104 yards in that game. So they probably deserved a better fate. And then uh, just uh, this past uh, week, uh, Saturday, against Texas State, a very wild football game. And Texas State gets the victory, thirty-three to thirty-one. Very disappointing uh, result for uh, South Alabama uh, in that game. It was really a fourth-quarter uh, comeback. Two touchdown drives in the fourth quarter for Texas State to tie the game, force overtime. If you had a South Alabama, frustrating loss, and now they'll be looking to bounce back here, uh, playing at home. Uh, Georgia Southern on the mean on the flip side. 27-24 loss uh, on Saturday to Troy. I had Troy minus five and a half. Brutal beat because uh, Troy got out to a big lead early and they could not sustain it. And, and Georgia Southern gets in side the number, even though they lose the game 27-24. Of course, when you look at this game, you've got to look at the fact that we're talking about a triple option, Georgia Southern offense, how South Alabama's run defense been this year. Very good. Uh, 3.5 yards per carry allowed, 121 rushing yards per game allowed for South Alabama's defense. So to me, this looks like the kind of offense that should be able uh, to, or defense, I should say, for South Alabama, that should be able to contain Georgia Southern a little bit and relatively well. And I like that Womack, the head coach, defensive minded coach, that should help things as well in terms of preparation for this game. Now, it is a short week. That's never usually a great thing when you're going up against triple option. You usually want some extra time uh, in that regard. But when I look at uh, South Alabama's offense, Jake Bentley's a work in progress, no question. It's been up and down. Uh, they've struggled at times to run the ball, but Georgia Southern's run defense has been a little shaky. And, you know, more than anything, Jake Bentley – when he's stepping down in class, you got to think he can make some plays here because this Georgia Southern pass defense, Connor, it's giving up 337 yards per game through the air. You got to think Jake Bentley. Yeah, I know South Carolina, Utah, he's been around the block and he's been bounced around. He's been mediocre. This is a bottom feeder secondary in, su in the Sun Belt Conference. If he can't put together some nice throws, stretch the field a little bit through the air against this type of pass defense in Georgia Southern, which is struggling, when is he going to do it? So to me, I think the matchup here dictates a little to South Alabama. Minus three. I think if it stands pat, I'll have a small bet here on the Jaguars. That's minus three. Um, but uh, just a small bet. Uh, and if it drops below minus three, it might be bigger for me. But at this number, I still lean South Alabama. What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, this one's interesting. Right away, you know, you think running, you think Georgia Southern, even South Alabama, I think under, and it's gotten hit already. We're at 50. So I don't think there's a ton of value there at, at 50, but I, I lean under. Georgia Southern's look better. This was a team, barely beat Gardner-Webb. They were good last year, pretty good. Georgia Southern took them a few times. They covered some numbers. And this year, they've got their ass whipped by FAU. They've looked better. They lost 45-10 to Arkansas, lost 8 to Lafayette, and then they just lost by 3 to Troy, uh, and they beat up Arkansas State. I think they're getting better. And I think their run game is getting better. South Alabama should be able to stop it. It's To me, I think South Alabama might be a little bit better, but laying three in the hook here, I don't love it. I wouldn't race to, you know, to lay this number with South Alabama. The way they've been playing close games too, um, that was a tough loss with Texas State last week, you know, with the lead and they give it up late, all those points. So difficult one for me. I'd actually – I like Georgia Southern the last few weeks, how they've been playing. Uh, I'm probably not going to get to the window with this, but I take the three and a hook and of course lean under, but I think it's getting down here. We're starting to get down to 49. You've really got to like an under to be to make sure it gets there. So I lean under and, and lean with the points here.